this video is not about my cat it's about Manfrotto B3 Live tripod now Manfrotto sent this to me to test it but then they didn't ask me to say good thing about this so you probably already saw people say good thing about this tripod but is it actually that good to show this I have to go outside because this is a travel tripod isn't it this is you can see it is quite small this is a travel tripod but it's not just any other travel tripod this is a travel video tripod as you can see from that small you can extend it well this is exactly like any other travel tripod now what is a video tripod? video tripod you would expect that it got a full head usually video tripod are bigger and heavier probably that's why man photo suddenly realized actually these days people using smaller and smaller camera to take video that's just like people like me using a a7s or even people using even smaller camera to take video like vloggers so that's why this is really a product for like the youtube age now this is not exactly a new product this is released last year even my day job photo gear news they had already had a first look in photo kina i think it's photo, photo kina also, Richard from Photo Gear News has already reviewed the photo edition of this with the colorful special edition of this, but for photo, not for video. So this is not really new product, but I have used it for a few months. I took it to Singapore as well. Actually, that's not usual that I take a tripod, but mm -hmm. this one, quite this nice. is quite it's quite small, and yeah. it's not not exactly expensive. Yeah. But it, yeah. there's still a lot of plastic parts yeah. and probably just because of the cost it's not exactly expensive though yeah. But I'm surprised it's still made in Italy Is, is it? this there? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yes, it's made it in is. Italy yeah. So because exactly I, I, I usually hate bringing a tripod mm. but because it's, this is so small mm. and I go okay mm. Now as I mentioned what makes a video tripod is the fruit head A fruit head give you very smooth movement because you are taking video or your movement a record into the video it has to be smooth it has to be like in a constant speed so the friction has to be constant and obviously you can lock or unlock separately the tilt and the pan you can do really smooth panning like this and really smooth tilting like this separately I also like this is the same plate as those bigger man photo tripods and it slide on it like this because then you can adjust the balance you have to slide front and back and find the perfect balance around that and then you lock it down and you got this quick leveling thing this is not common in this kind of small tripod also you can set it to low angle as low as this actually I forgot to mention this is a hook here so that you can put heavy stuff here to weigh down the tripod and also if you be move this hook you can take this out set this whole thing upside down and you get the absolute lowest angle as possible now it's on the floor <laughs> now this some, some kind of BBC Earth National Geographic style uh, wildlife uh, and just it's just no wildlife for now all right so answer the question is this really that good well i can say it's not the steadiest tripod ever it do it do wobble a bit if you really if you're really going to shake it it got a lot of plastic parts i hope a lot of parts will be metal but they are not bad plastic they're nothing flimsy at all but remember this is a travel tripod and this is really affordable price it's not exactly expensive this is a video tripod for youtubers for bloggers for anybody who want who don't want to carry a heavy tripod this got everything you need and as i mentioned in singapore if this is anything heavier i won't take it anyway no matter how good the big heavy video tripod it is